Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today we're gonna to do something really cool with Power BI. I'm gonna show you how to get the current week in any dashboard on your data, as long as you have like weekly or daily data, and that it updates automatically to be filtered to that. So how do we do that to display it? So let's take a look at this. I've created this dashboard. I call it Quickie Mart. It's local convenience chain data. I can't give you the name of the convenience uh, company or uh, gas station convenience store uh, chain. But what I want to show you here is I want to show you the data. So let's look at the data. And what we're looking at is you've got UPC number, customer ID, store, transaction, date, week number, offer, uh, discount count, which is the amount of or number of redemptions of a coupon that they've done and the discount amount. So this is where they've tried to re reward their top customers and they give them a single uh, coupon that they can use and they want to identify, you know, who used it and they would like it to go to the current week because it goes over numerous weeks. You can see right here in the dates, you can see there's many different dates in there, you know, all throughout 2019. So if we go back to the data, or back to the, I'm sorry, back to Power BI, what I wanna show you here is really simple to do this. So how would you show that the current week would have actually current for week, the end week of 2019 in this case? So that way when you're rolling through it, right? So if you've got a campaign that's ongoing and you they want updates every week or they want data every day, however you want it done, so that the current week is always showing it's filtered to that. So that they don't have to, what, you, what we're looking at here is I'm trying to make it so that the executives can quickly and easily go in here and see what was the current week first. I want them to see this, not all the data for all the weeks, right? So they wanna be able to see, okay, out of this, how many customers participated? Two. How many offers were there? Two. Uh, customers by week number? Two you know, for 52 and the offer. So this obviously could be much greater and much bigger if you had a bigger company. All right, this, they were just targeting a small group of primary customers. Now, and then you could see, you know, what offers they picked. There's two different offers they used and there's not a lot of data in some of these graphs because it's only two people. But the nice thing here is not that, or the neat thing here is not that. The neat thing here is that I can make it so if I save this and publish this right here as is, they will see the current week filtered to it. And then they could go back in if they want to see the past week, they can go back in and clear this. They can see all of the weeks. They could see all of the data for everything if they wanted to, like this. But executives are going to want to see your current week. So how do we do that, right? Because when you're looking at the week number field, like I showed you here, you just have week numbers. You don't have current in there. So how do you do that in Power BI? I'm going to show you that right now. So what you do is we look at our data here. I have both campaign info and I have redemptions and I've put them in here in these two charts. So if you look at these two charts, you have this one here, which I put customer ID, All right? So if I click on this chart, let me do that and show you right here, right? So as a table, if you want to call it a table, it's a chart to me. And I'm looking at that and I can see it's all highlighted right here redemptions, right? So I've got current week, customer ID, date, discount amount, and discount count in there, right? Which is the amount of the, the number of redemptions and the amount for the redemption, right? And I can get the totals here if I wanted to. Now, this one is a little different. This shows me what? This side, but I've also brought in the week number because automatically it's already seen a join between these two, right? If we need to see the join, we can click on either one of these two and we can always go right here to manage relationships. And if it's not there, we can always join them here. You could go in here and edit it and see exactly what you're uh, joining on. In this case, offer number and offer number, which is correct, okay? So we can cancel that out and cancel that out. I don't need to rejoin, that was done automatically by Power BI. If it's not in your case, you now know how to go back and do it. Make sure you click here because in the past it used to be you didn't have to click here and you'd see manage relationships, but now you have to click on one of your tables of data to see this button under table tools. Okay, so let's open these both back up so you can see all the fields, all right? And what we're looking at here is I want to have week number, right? So we know that week number is right here, right? In the redemption. So if I look over here, do I have it in there? No, I could add it to it if I wanted to. I could, well, actually, no, I do. Uh, let's see, and let's click on, oh no, it's because I clicked on this one. Um, in this one, I do not have week number, but in this one I do. So let's take a look at this, right? Because I have it joined in, it doesn't matter which one I put it in. So you've got weeks 36, 37, 39, it doesn't matter. Okay, I want to have the max week, right? 
but I can't do that in here and then filter by it. So what I need to do is what? I need to create a new column, right? So if I go in here and look, where did I put that column? So let's take a look at this and see what we're looking at, okay? So here you have current week, right? So where do we see current week? Right here. So current week, what that means is I have a column here that is not with the regular data. If I go back to the data for redemptions right here, do you see that? No, you see week number, but you don't see current week. So what we've done is we've added it and it's very simple. All I'm gonna do is click on this. It's gonna bring up a DAX code and it's very simple code, current week equals. And then remember when I created this, I did this, I used new column. I did not use new measure or quick measure. You need to use a new column because then that makes it so I can bring in these other columns of data. So then I have if redemptions week number field, which is in the redemptions table, right? Equals max of that redemptions week number. So where the instances where this equals the maximum of that comma, I wanna give it current if not, I want to do week number, but keep in mind, current is what string right here. See this? This is a string. So what we have to do is we have to, because this, the week number, is not going to be a string. It's going to be a decimal or a whole number. So we have to convert that. Otherwise, this thing blows up and says we can't do that. So you have to use this right here to convert it to a string, and then it works. See, it has no issues. You'll know if you, if you put this in it and it has an issue, this will go red and it'll give you a little yellow thing underneath there saying that you're trying to uh, add two different data types together in the same column. It doesn't like that. It'll give you a specific you know error message for that. So this is what you do right there is this. Let me highlight it for you right here, this whole thing. And that makes it so now I have a new column which will have all of the current weeks and they'll end up with current. So if I go back here, right? Here's current week here. Now look at this, it's got all of the column numbers, right? They're not necessarily in order, and some of them have more, you know, more than one is here's 42, here's 42, it doesn't matter. But when I go through that, see that I see there's at least two currents in there, see that current? So that means that the highest number for that max is going to be current, okay? That's how we did that. So by doing that and to show it to you that I have it in here, let's get rid of this because we know that's good. Okay, I put it in a uh, slicer right from here and I put slicer for current week, right? So if I put week number, that would give me 51 and 52. I don't want that, I want current week. So I put current week in there and now I have a filter based off it. All I have to do is click on this and publish that just like that and then it's always filtered to the current week. So when this goes to, you know, as it grows through the year, all the way this campaign ended at the end of the year, so then they'll start a new campaign next year, I would do it and it would start at week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and it would always update the current to be the highest week. So now the rest of this, if I clear this up, is just a typical dashboard, right? So you've got a table here in the upper left, another table here based on these two columns just to show you the data in both. I've got the data by week number here, so the customer ID, so you'd want to see the customer ID count here so you could, they could actually see well how many people participated, you know, like 12 people participated this week, right? Something like that. And uh, this, towards the end, it kind of slowed down to two. So it, they can see, you know, where was the maximum activity here? They can look at this and see over here what the different offers were. Was one greater than others? Yes, this one, the 21%, which is blue, two off of 10 was the most popular. You can, they can also, there's two slicers, well, there's three slicers, the current week, but I also have, well, what if they wanna look at it by offer, right? So in this case, they wouldn't want to because you only get one data point if they put it for current week. But in, in a bigger company with bigger data, you might wanna have that. And then if they wanna you know, get a range of dates, they would look at the summer. You want to look at a couple of weeks, a month, October, they could do that here. And then this one right down here just shows both the redemption amount and the redemption count called discount count and discount amount. Same thing. Um, some people call it redemptions if it's a coupon that has just a value associated. But what if, like in this case, you have some with percents off, right? So you would call it the discount amount and the discount count would be a better way to refer to that. And uh, that's basically how you create a dashboard 
so that it always filters if you save it. Now, obviously, if I save it this way, it's not going to filter. It's available there, but it's not going to save that filter. This will update, and it'll always update the current as it goes through. But if I want to actually show it to them by default, I click on this, and then I publish it just like that. See that? So that way it always, and then it'll just constantly update as each week gets updated, the current will get updated. So it will always have the current week in there. That's what's really neat with this, and that's something really cool you can do with Power BI. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. I'll show you the code again for current week just so, to make sure you guys get it. It's very simple DAX code. Uh, basically, it's just a uh, if column X equals the max of column X, then do this A, which would be great, you know, call it current. Else, remember I told you we have to convert it because you're taking a number and you're using a string, right? So you can't use a number in there. So you got to convert this, which is a number, to string. And if you want to really look at what current week number is or redemption's week number is, we can look at that and I'll show you right here in this case. I can go over here and where do we have week number? Week number is right here. So I click there. It's a whole number. See that? So you can't put a string and a whole number together. You've got to have them both be the same. So this is, look at this, text. See? text right there so you have to you can't use the word text here like you can in some other uh different uh, excel and some things like that you're gonna use string that's all that's only different so this is the, the uh, code that you use and uh then you end up with something like this and then again you just save it or you know use that to publish it if you want it to uh default to current week which i'm sure you would um and if you want to see all the data you just clear this out and an executive can go in there and easily you know, deselect current week to see any other week that they want. They can say, I want to see week 43. I want to see weeks 46 and 45 and 44, whatever they want to do. I hope you found this helpful and beneficial. It's something really cool that helps you get a lot more out of your Power BI usage. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see the latest, greatest, coolest stuff that we're building, creating, and uh, the latest videos as they come out. Thanks again and have a great day.